Praise Lord God Almighty. You are welcome to our channel today. Our channel dispenses helpful on spiritual principle according to Psalm 68 verse 11, King James Version, that the Lord gave the word and great was the company of those that published it. As man of God has ditched out the call to Igbo elders in the southeast Biafra land, the Rising Sun region. We therefore took the position as a duty to dispense helpful. Since the kidnapping of the leader of indigenous people of Biofra, Matsi Namdi Konu, the insecurity in the southeast has gone out of hand. The man of God brother Ibuka Obi has called for peace for the unconditional release of Matsi Namdi Konu to no avail, the man of God from the Zion Prayer Movement outreach, in several occasions informed Southeast governors to approach federal government to the freedom of the incarcerated leader of Biofra but every effort ended in futility. We shall be listening to the voice of him crying in the wilderness now. Please don't forget that it is written in Psalm 122 verse 7, Pray for the peace of Biofra, may those who love you be secure. Amen and God bless you. And my house shall be called the house of prayer. My name is Oyesh Obiudu from Osuluku government in Imo State. I've come this morning to thank the God of Zion. I've come, I've come to appreciate him for his work of protection over my life, my family. I've come also to adore the God of this great commission for his protection over the life of our first son. It was in November. He, was, he went to Olo, coming back from Olo, getting down to Inyoma. Um, there were two guys on a bike in front of him. From where nowhere, there comes this um, security man called the Bibago. They stopped the two guys on the bike. They made their way with them, but my brother was not touched. They allowed him to pass. And because brother will always say, present your family whenever you are praying. Bring them before the God of Zion. And indeed, God manifested himself in my family on that day. Then in January this year again, this same, my brother, the boys working for him, they took his vehicle to, to the river to go watch night for washing. As they were there, this same security men called the Bibago, they came there. When they met these two guys, they asked them to lie down on the ground and then said their last prayer. As they were there, According to them, they were confused on what to say. But these men, after looking at them, they asked them to stand up. Then, then they said they left. In fact, it just got swapped because I don't know what would have happened. Maybe they would have said, my brother have used them for ritual or that. I don't know, but God showed himself. Then last testimony was about my brother's wife. It was in February 1st. On Wednesday, we were here for a program. My dad was calling. So when I went out to answer the call, he said that I should just thank God, that God did a great work for us this morning. That my brother was going to, uh, that my brother's wife on his way to market, Ekotutu, some person may know that market. So getting down to Umuakabia Secondary School, there was a bomb blast. But for God so kind, or for the goodness of God still over my family, the night, she was not hurt. It only touched her hand and her feet. Even the baby at her back was not touched. So I want to appreciate this God for his protection. If not the God of Zion, I would have buried two, pe two people in my family the same day. But God said no because of his love in my life. So I come to say thank you, God. Thank you, the God of Brah. Thank you, the great prophet. Oh, 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 for the love of God. Come on, you can do for this great God. Of connect our hand together and pray for God to send his angels. The Bible said that rich rules, rules over the poor. But God rules over the rich. This God is a God of vengeance. He is the shame of Nebuchadnezzar, the disgrace of Pharaoh. May the Lord arise. Psalm 68 verse 1. Arise, O Lord, and let the enemy be scattered. Let the enemies of our land be scattered in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Any man or woman involving himself in killing somebody, it shall never be well with that person. Amen. Your life will be miserable. Amen. Nobody can give life. And nobody should take life. You don't take what you cannot give. 
You don't take what you cannot give. What is happening in Imo State? Is the ability of the leaders to make sure they bring peace. And how to bring peace is not Thank you, Jesus. I'm not really in a good mood. I'm struggling. I'm struggling to pray. I'm struggling to... Yeah. May the Lord bless you. Keep praying for him. This time around, we must make sure that something happens because nobody knows who will be his turn or her turn tomorrow. This one is getting out of hand. This is good, getting out of hand. Is that no one bombing Gilead? What is that? Where, where is that? Why are there traditional rulers? What shall it profit a man to die? Hundred security is guiding you today. Tomorrow in the grave, nobody will be guiding you there. And if you keep silent, one day you will die. Either in plane crash or in motor accident, or you will sleep, or you will not wake up. Or you, everybody must die. Let us stand up to know what is happening in Imo State. This one is getting out of hand. I know terrible things happening in Ebony, but it's not like this in Ebony. It's not like this in Anambra. Imo State has been the most peaceful state in Nigeria before. What suddenly happened? Can you use fire to quench fire? Fire can never quench fire. It's not possible for fire to quench fire. I keep saying it. Most of all these killings, they are mentioning Ebu Bagu. They should call them and know whether they are still doing what the government want them to do. Ask them to do. Or they are not taking laws into their hands. I declare you unfortunate. It is well with you. 